In this video, we're going to talk about RDS SMS. The agenda is as follows. We'll talk about uh, SMS topic and event subscriptions and how to create uh, event subscription using uh, AWS dashboard. And then uh, we'll showcase several RDS CLI commands. How can we create a subscription for all instances versus some instances? How can we create a subscription for a group of events? Let's say under instances you have failover, deletion, etc. and you want to create an event subscription for a subset of event categories. And how do you create event subscription for security group events? And then we're going to showcase a flowchart we built for these scenarios. Finally, we'll see how CloudDB Shield can help in detecting these issues with your RDS instances. To begin with, uh, we need two things. Uh, so we need to create a SMS topic, uh, and then we need to create one or more event subscriptions. So the SMS topic can send the messages to Lambda, SQS, or email, SMS. So on the left side, you can see the database services. In our case, it will be RDS or Aurora. So all the events that get generated will be sent to email if you pick, pick up email as the destination using the SMS topic. Another diagram that illustrates the same. On the left side, publisher will be nothing but the events coming through from our RDS or Aurora. And then we have SNS topic, which will uh, send the messages to Lambda or email. In our demos, we'll be using email. There are different types of event categories. There can be instance type event categories, security groups, parameter groups, snapshots, etc. And uh, depending on your needs, you can configure for the source types you need. So now, how do we create a event subscription using a dashboard? So once you go to the RDS section, there is a, something called event subscriptions on the left, and then you need to click on that. And once you click on that, uh, you'll be navigated to this page where you can click on the create, create event uh, subscription. <clears throat> and then basically, you can choose a ARM for your SNS topic if you have a SNS topic already there, or you can create a new email topic. So this is for uh, choosing the SNS topic. Once that part is done, the next one is choosing the source type. So the source type is nothing but the event cat, uh, event uh, subscription type. So it can be instances, snapshots, or security groups, or whatever, right? And then once you pick up the uh, right source type, the next one is uh, whether you want to monitor for all instances or specific instances. And then also all event categories or specific event categories. So you need to make these selections. The event categories can be availability, backup, failover, uh, etc. for instance, right? So depending on the event type, again, the event categories changes. So you need to pick the right event categories. Let's say you don't want to monitor for all the, all the types of events. You only want to monitor for a deletion, failover, right? So you, you just need to select those two. So now a uh, final summary of the terms we learned. Uh, basically, we learned what an SNS topic is. With this uh, message can be delivered to email, SMS, HTTPS, etc. And then uh, there can be different event subscription types or source types, instance, snapshots, parameter group, security group, etc. And uh, underneath each source type, you can again select the event categories you want. For example, instances category will have uh, availability, failover, etc. 
So these are the main terms uh, you need to learn uh, before you start uh, configuring the event subscriptions. So next, uh, we're going to see a demo of uh, creating an event subscription using a AWS console. In this demo, we're going to see how to create an event subscription using the console. So once you select RDS, uh, you need to click on the event subscriptions on the left side uh, navigation menu. And then you click this button, create event subscription. Here uh, you can choose the name, RDS SMS. Once you choose the name, you can choose the existing SNS topic. Let's say you have uh, several SNS topics created already. You can select one of them or you can choose a new email topic and uh, give the topic name and then the email. In my case, I'm going to select one of the existing one. And then uh, basically the next one is source type. So you can select one of the source types, uh, instances or parameter groups or whatever you want, right? In my case, I'm going to select instances. And then uh, you can choose all instances or specific instances. Let's say you want to only select specific instances uh, like database one in this case. Uh, you can do that, but uh, I'm going to do the all instances. And also you can select the specific event categories as discussed before. So you can select for availability deletion here instead of going for all the event categories but uh, let me select all event categories and then basically i hit create so we are all done so creating event subscription is uh, pretty simple but you have to choose the right source type and event categories according to your requirements so next we are going to see how to create that using the cli command so with the instances uh, event subscriptions there are several scenarios so one is a empty set uh, which means uh, there are no event subscriptions at all and the second scenario could be we have a subscription for all instances and all event categories uh, for example in instances we have several event categories like uh, failover deletion etc right so if we have all event categories covered for all instances uh, that is scenario two and then the scenario three is some instances and all event categories so we have a subset of instances covered and uh, for those instances all event categories are covered then the scenario four is all instances some event categories and uh, scenario five is some instances some event categories so let us run through these five scenarios one by one in scenario one uh, we have empty set that means there are no event subscriptions at all we go to the console and uh, under event subscriptions you don't see anything here go to the command line now and run the cli command see that it's empty set which means there are no event subscriptions at all let us see how cloud db shield reacts to this scenario option three and it's going to take few seconds you can see that uh, it failed for all the three checks these are the sns checks we are not concerned about all the other checks for this video. We are only talking about SNS checks. And as you can see, all the three failed because uh, there are no event subscriptions at all. Now we will take a look at scenario two. In scenario two, we have uh, all instances and all event categories. Failover, deletion, etc. All event categories are covered here. To begin with, let's go ahead and create event subscription. We can just uh, name it test uh, scenario 2 
and then uh, I'm going to select one of the SNS topic which is already there and then in the source type I select instances and if you can see I'm picking all instances and all event categories so I'm not uh, selecting specific instances or specific event categories I'm doing all instances all event categories and then create so now it's created let's uh, go to the command line run the command you can see that it is not empty now as in uh, scenario one where it was empty so one thing to note is source type is db instance here and we do not have any subset of instances or subset of event categories which means we are covering all instances and all event categories now let us run cloud db shield we're going to select option 3 taking few seconds and now you can see that 4.2 4.3 4.4 4 .4, these three are the sns checks and uh, we are not bothered about these checks for this video we are only talking about the sns checks which are these three and uh, now 4.2 and 4.3 is passed whereas 4.4 uh, is failing because uh, we did not cover security groups in this scenario but as you can see the instance level events are covered so it's a pass and even the sns topic is a pass so that completes scenario 2. moving on to scenario 3 we have uh, some in some instances and all event categories in this scenario let's go ahead and uh, create the event subscription for that scenario so instead of uh, creating a new one i'm going to edit the existing one and here instead of all instances i'm going to select instance one and instance two and then uh, i will leave the event categories as all event categories now going to the command line if you run the describe event subscriptions command you can see that we have source id list here which has uh, both these instances and then the source type is only db instance we don't see security group here in this scenario when you compare this output with the previous one where we had all instances and all event categories you only see this you, you don't see this block in this uh, previous scenario so now let us go ahead and run cloud db shield for this scenario option 3 it's going to take few seconds you can see that in this case out of all the three sns checks only 4.2 is a pass 4.3 and 4.4 both of them failed both the instance level events check and the security groups events check both of them failed you can also check the report it produced in 4.3 you can see that it's a pass for this instance and uh, this instance but uh, whereas uh, for the third and fourth it's a fail so for 4.3 it failed for two of them and then uh, for 4.4 it failed because uh, we, we did not cover security group events in scenario 4 we have uh, all instances and some event categories let's go ahead and uh, edit it so instead of some instances i'm going to select all instances here but uh, when coming to event categories i'm going to select a couple of them one is failover second is uh, deletion 
So we are not going to cover all event categories in this scenario, only a couple of them. But when coming to instances, we are covering all instances. And save. Let's go to the command line now. And uh, run the CLI command first. You can see that uh, we are only covering these two event categories. But for instances, we don't have a subset of instances, which means we are covering for all instances. So let us run Cloud DB Shield for this scenario. Option three, it's going to take a few seconds. Now again, out of all the three SNS checks, Two failed, 4.3 which is for instances, 4.4 which is for security groups. So the reason why 4.3 failed is we are only covering two event categories and not all event categories. And 4.4 failed because we didn't cover security groups at all. And you can also get a detailed report by accessing this file. In scenario 5 we are covering some instances and some event categories. So in this case, we are not covering all instances and also not all event categories. So let's go to the console first. Edit it. Currently, we have for all instances, I'm going to select a couple of them. And uh, also, we already have uh, this scenario covered like uh, we're only touching specific event categories this one and this one not all event categories so in this scenario as discussed we are covering some instances and not all some event categories and not all event categories let's save it now go to the command line run the cli command you can see that uh, we are only covering subset of event categories and subset of instances here. So the next step is running CloudDB Shield for this scenario. Option three. Let's give a few seconds. Then you can see out of all the three SNS checks both uh, 4.3 and 4.4 fail now. 4.3 failed because we are only covering some instances and some event categories. And 4.4 failed because we are not covering security groups at all. Previously we have discussed about instance level events. Now we are going to discuss about security group events. In scenario 1 we will have all security groups and all event categories so the coverage is for all security groups and all event categories let's go to the console and create a new event subscription test sec group then i'm going to select existing ARN. here Instead of instances, I'm going to select security groups. And then uh, we're covering all security groups and all event categories. Go to the command line now. Run the CLI command. You can see that under source type, now we have DB security group. Uh, we don't have instance group. And also, we don't have subset of event categories, which means we are covering all event categories for security group. Let's go ahead and uh, run CS collector for this scenario. Option three. You can see that uh, it passed for security groups check now, 4.4 but it failed for 4.3 which is instance level checks because uh, we did not have any event uh, subscriptions for instances. 
Now let us take a look at scenario 2 in security groups. Here we have uh, subscriptions for all security groups and some event categories. Let's go ahead and uh, edit the event subscription. In here, instead of all event categories, let's uh, specific uh, select specific one value, then hit save. Go to the command line. And you can see that the source type is security group. We don't have instances here. And then uh, we're not covering all event categories. We're only covering failure here. Let's run CloudDB Shield. Now, you can see that uh, 4.4 is failing because we are not covering all event categories under security groups. Also, 4.3 is failing because we are not covering instances at all. So, what is confirmed subscription? So, let's say you choose email uh, as uh, your destination for SNS topic. You'll be getting an email like this to confirm. So you need to click on this and then only it becomes a confirmed subscription. So in the previous output you saw that uh, 4.2 failed because it was not confirmed. So that's the difference between confirmed and unconfirmed.